Hi, Miss Joanna here, and here's another video of an exercise we can do in preparation for vibrato. We're going to take our violin for this exercise, and before we do that, let's take a look at your violin hand. In your violin hand, find the first knuckle on your first finger. That's the one that's closest to your palm. At the thinnest point of the knuckle, let's make an imaginary line. You remember our magic X that we used when we were in book one? We're going to use an imaginary line just like that. This is where the black part of the fingerboard on the neck will contact the hand. And we can put our thumb right next to it so the thumb can give our magic line a little hug. Okay, take your violin and let's hold our violins in rest position. So in rest position, imagine and feel your magic line. And let's put your magic line lightly onto our violin neck. At this point, your thumb can be off the fingerboard and your fingers should stay all together, but don't, you don't need to squeeze them. Just lightly all together. Okay, we're gonna do our quick rhythm, watermelon, watermelon, and we're gonna have the hands go towards the scroll and back towards the fingerboard. Let me show you what I mean. Watermelon, 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 stop. Lightly, you should move your fingers. And you don't wanna wave your fingers like you're waving a flag in the air. But just keep your arm and your fingers in a beautiful stop sign hand. Ready? Let's try it again. One, two, here we go. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. So the thumb is not touching the neck, and our neck and hand are touching at our magic line. One more time. Ready, set, one, two, here we go. Watermelon, watermelon. Do you know what the stop sign hand is? If I see you for violin lessons, I'm sure you do. If we don't, the stop sign hand is when the lower part of the arm and the hand are connected. We don't have a break like a pancake hand or a bump like a banana hand. But all the strength from your upper, lower arm is going into your hand. With this kind of hand, place your hand on the violin neck again. Find our magic disappearing line. Thumb is off of the neck, and let's do our rhythm. Ready, set, and here we go. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. Ready, set, and stop. Good. Lightly now, let's put our thumb onto the neck of the violin. No squeezing. The squeezing will create an obstacle and make it harder to do vibrato but lightly touch, like a very gentle feather. Let's try our watermelon rhythm again with the thumb lightly touching. Ready, set, and here we go. Watermelon, 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 ready, set, and stop. Once more again, let's go. Watermelon, 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 ready, set, and stop. Are your fingers flailing or are they connected to your hand? Are you keeping a nice stop sign hand and not letting your wrist lose the connection? One more time, check it out. Ready, set, and here we go. Watermelon, 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 ready, set, and stop. Stop the video here and try that a couple times on your own. Maybe come back after a day or two of trying it. Okay, now that we're an expert at our sliding hands, vibrato preparation, we can start curling our fingers gently onto the string. I like to use my third finger on the string, and we're using the lightest possible pressure that we have. Our finger is just contacting the string, but not depressing it, not pushing it down, and definitely not pressing into the fingerboard. Let's slide our fingers on the string, keep your connection. When we do. Ready, set, here we go. Watermelon, Do you hear that sound? See if you can hear the sound of your strings with only your finger brushing them. Ready, set, and here we go. Good. Let's
let's hear it one more time. You may hear different kinds of sounds being produced uh, by your violin strings with your finger brushing it. Let's try it our third time. Good. Do you still hear the watermelon? It's time for our last try. Rest position, light, light fingers. Ready, set, here we go. That's it! Thank you for trying this with me. I'd love to see you trying this on your own. Please send me a video or if we see each other in person for violin lessons. I can't wait to see how this works when you try it. Ah, uh, that's all for now. Bye.